We're back with you again. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Brian Milicek channel and today I have some kind of sad news. I'm parting ways with my good friend. I know, I know, it's a very sad story. I mean, it, it's inevitable though. Thanks to this phone, it kind of kick-started my channel a bit. I mean, I'm over 280 subscribers now and one of the videos on this with KOSP is almost to 10,000 views, which thanks for watching guys, by the way. I really appreciate that, but also just, I don't know, I have really nice fond memories with this little boy. Also, it's beautiful, like the full screen Android experience. Well, pixel Android experience, at least. It's just nothing like it, you know? So it's a little sad to part ways with it, but the main reason why I'm doing this is, well, I want the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Maybe because as of right now with my 12 Pro Max, which is what I shoot everything with, which is the phone I'm using right now to record. You know, the video quality is wonderful. I'm pretty sure you guys already know that since you watch my videos and all, and you see how, you know, at least the quality is pretty good. Uh, but something with uh, even better screen, way better battery life, and a better camera overall, it was just thing I was looking for, so I'm excited to upgrade. But of course, I had to cash down those carrier deal promo deals, right? So they're offering me $350 for this phone, which is probably way more than what it's worth, so I'm very happy about that. But as you know, I already have a custom ROM installed on it, so I can't really send it back that way. So I thought I might as well just make a tutorial video on how to go back to stock oxygen os so this will be the last hurrah for this little guy here it'll be an emotional video for me because almost half a year ago this thing started off my youtube gig and uh i just i just want to thank you oneplus for being such a good phone but now i gotta get you back to stinky oxygen os now the method i'm using today is not going to be the fast boot mode or fast boot option mainly because that's the most unsecure and it doesn't lock the bootloader for you. With the method I'm using today is the MSM tool method, which is probably the easiest and the best method you can use for this. So that's the one I went with. That's the one I went with beforehand for that how to flash KOSP video. Of course, y'all know my shenanigans with that video, but I'm hoping that this experience will be way easier, way quicker, and less frustration. So the so first thing I'm gonna do here is we're gonna go to advanced and go to bootloader. And that'll basically bring us to the fast boot option. So while we're in fast boot, I'm gonna go ahead and just go to the volume and make sure we press power off. Now I'm gonna open our software here. It's gonna be the MSM download tool version 4.0. And it'll have a list down here. It says factory, customer service, and other. Just press others and press next. And as you can see right here, it's listed under COM8, but the status of connection is NA. So we're just gonna to wanna to unplug it here. Just wait around 10 to 15 seconds, and then we'll have to boot into a special mode. All right, 15 seconds has passed, so we're gonna uh, hold down the volume up and down keys while we insert the USB cable inside. Now as you can see here, if you don't have the proper ADB or fast boot drivers installed, it will still say set of connection in A. So we're gonna go ahead and install these really quickly, the Qualcomm drivers, so just double click that, and then we'll just run through the install process. So I'm just gonna pick this first one up here. Um, just hit next. And I don't know, we'll, we'll go with re repair. Press next and install. Now to do this, we'll have to restart our system, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back from the restart. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the um, MSM tool again. Once again, we'll just go ahead and go with others, press next. And as you can see right there, it says connected. So now we can go ahead and press the start and it will go to, through the process of downgrading your OnePlus 7 Pro to standard auction OS. So I'll come right back after that's finished and we'll go through the setup process to make sure everything is working smoothly. All right, so now we're done, download complete, and our OnePlus device is rebooting. So yeah, this is kind of a bittersweet moment for me. <laughs> I'm giving you up, boy. You've been really good to me, though. Thank you. You've been, you've been wonderful. But honestly, Oxygen OS 11 isn't that bad. Now I know this phone is supposed to get Oxygen OS 12, but it's not, I don't think at least, it's officially released to OnePlus 7 Pro yet. But Oxygen OS 11 is honestly a pretty good update, but of course, nothing beats Pixel's, you know, stock uh, stock Android, you know, stock Android is my favorite uh, Android version. 
Um, so that's why I really loved it, especially on this device with the full screen. You know, it just looked really good. Oxygen OS isn't too bad though. I mean, it is now, but <laughs> Oxygen OS and Oxygen OS 11 and below were actually really good. So as soon as this is done, you know, loading up, I'll go th run through the setup and we'll uh, finish off this video. All right, so we're at the setup screen. We'll go ahead and run through it really quickly. I'll press agree to everything because I'm a good man. Skip. Uh, set up offline because we're not really doing anything much with this phone anymore. Next. It's totally 3 10 a.m. That is for sure. Except, uh, just a sec. I agree to you, co creation labs. We'll skip you. Skip. Alright, setup is complete. And we'll go ahead and press start. And look at that. Back on Ghetto Oxygen OS 11. Honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So. It's, it's, it's nice to, no, deny that. <laughs> it's nice to have it back on here. It's a sense of familiarity whenever I first had this phone, but I will, I will miss this phone a lot. But yep, that's how you um, go back to stock auction OS from any custom ROM. But hey, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, that's okay, give it a dislike. But if you have any comments below, please let me know what you want to see next. And any criticism, I'll gladly take them. But yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.